Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. This is Jennifer. I have a couple of fun things to share with you guys today. I don't have any finished quilts this week. I did two weeks in a row where I had a finished quilt, but I did not this week because I had some other things come up and I wasn't able to uh, get out there and quilt last week. Hopefully I can get Lynn's two tops quilted out in the mail no later than next week. I've already talked to Jan. I have her address. She is the, the coordinator for Oz Comfort Quilts. So if you need her address, let me know. She does not share it publicly, but I'm happy to share it with you. And she is fine with that as long as we're not posting it on social media or whatever. So on Friday, I went to a sew day with a couple of friends at one of our friends house and I took the kit that I found I think in December I showed you guys this plastic bag that I found at Savers for like three dollars and it had batting and fabric and a pattern in it and I just looked at it and thought quilt kit I didn't look super close when I took it apart I realized it was an entire quilt kit for Project Linus Dallas Denton which is like Dallas and then Denton and all the counties in between up in North Texas so what I've decided to do do is I'm going to finish this and I want to get it back to that Project Linus group because it was everything. It was fabric, pattern, all the pieces were cut. It includes backing and batting and binding. And so that is the first thing that I made. And that is this quilt top you see on the wall. This is Two's Company and it's by Carrie Patch Design. I have not looked this up. I don't know if this is a commercially av available pattern. It just says that use with permission from Carrie Patch. So I am unaware as to whether or not you can uh, find that commercial but I will look that up and if if it's available I will put it in the description and I have to give these ladies kudos these pieces were so perfectly cut every piece was exactly the size it was supposed to be everything worked out perfectly I had maybe three inches of fabric left over from the one part where you were sewing with the fabric to make four patches and it, it just it came together easily and quickly. I didn't choose any of this fabric. It was all in the kit. My goal is to get it back to Project Linus. I have a couple of options. One, I'm trying to find out if they're going to be at the Dallas Quilt Show because I'm going with a friend in March. If they are not, um, I'm trying to find someone who volunteers for them who might be there that I can hand it off to. Otherwise, I will probably mail it to them. Also on Friday, I did some disappearing nine patches with uh, sashing. So these were eight and a half inch blocks, two and a half inch sash. I'm pretty sure these are the same dimensions that Jules used for her lobster quilt. Unfortunately, I overestimated how much of this fabric, this bicycle fabric that I had, and I ran out before I could make the final nine patch. Jules had some of it because I had put it on a quilt back for her and cut some binding and given that to her and she's sending it back to me, her leftovers. So that should be enough at least to finish the nine patch, possibly for some of the inside sashing because you can see these blocks up here. I will put sash in between the blocks as well. If I don't have enough of this to do the inside sashing, I've pulled a whole bunch of other options that read very similarly that I can also use for that. I've had a fair bit of mail recently. Barbara Struve, who is a member of the Project of Doom Facebook group and is also on Instagram, she is the ladybug made this on Instagram, shared that I like to uh, collect orphan blocks and I've been getting a little bit more because of her, but she also sent me this Jelly Roll Mile a Minute quilt top and it is all flannel and you can see they're really cute, cute flannels. So this is a really big quilt top and I asked and I have her permission to cut it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quilt it possibly as one piece. I might cut it in the tops first, but I think I can make four baby blankets out of this for Linus. So when I'm finished with my Oz stuff, I will figure out a back for this. And I think I might have something in some of the donations that I received in January that will be perfect for the back for this. So um, once this is quilted, it'll be four baby quilts to donate to Linus. In that vein, I also got mail from Patty. Patty sent me some orphan blocks, but these all coordinate, so I'll probably put them all together into a quilt top if I need to. I have plenty of fabrics that'll uh, coordinate with this as well. So I'm gonna just kit these up together in a bag and save them for um, an orphan quilt top for when I'm making tops for Linus again. Because I am trying to go to more quilt shows this year, um, I'm, I'm. you guys know that I've been busy and my hands have been very full the last six months. So I'm trying to carve out a few days for myself in the next 
say six months. So I will be going to QuiltCon here in Austin at the end of this month. Um, I will put the link in the description for that. So if you're nearby and you're going, do let me know. I haven't decided if I'm going for one day or two. I think it's actually three days, but I, I'm not doing three days. So, but I live in Austin, so it's not inconvenient for me to go for two days in a row. But anyway, if you're going to go, let me know. I would love to, I would love to meet Phantom and Stitches people, people who watch Talk To Me Tuesday, people who follow Soho Patterns, people I know on Instagram. So if you're going to go, let me know and I will try to accommodate my schedule so that I can um, get to meet some of you awesome people. Also, I'll be in Dallas for the Dallas Quilt Show, and I'm just attending. I am not showing anything. I'm not working in a booth. A, uh, as a quilter who is presenting anything, I'm going for fun. So if you're there, look for me. But I have made, I'm trying to make that a little bit easier for you to find me. So I splurged on myself and I bought myself a Fandom and Stitches tote bag from our Zazzle store. Our Zazzle store basically just pays for, it doesn't make very much. I'll tell you guys right now, it doesn't make very much. It pays for me to do two or three prizes a year on Fandom and Stitches. So like when we do the design invitationals and I give away a t-shirt, it's the earnings from people buying t-shirts and tote bags and stuff that I use to buy those. This one I actually bought myself from my personal account through the Phantom and Stitches store. So I bought this tote bag and then I spent a good chunk of time on the weekend blinging it up. This is my Phantom and Stitches tote bag and you can see it says, I actually have a t-shirt that matches. It says, as seen on Phantom and Stitches. Um, this is one of the most popular t-shirts for people to choose for the design invitational. Like I let them pick their own t-shirt and this is the one that people usually pick. I used my, my embroidery machine and I put my first name on here. I sewed a little vinyl pocket on here to put my pin in. Like I have a few enamel pins, not a lot. I have lost some in the past. I, I did two things. I put this vinyl pocket on here and then I bought rubber pin backs. You can get a whole package of them for just a few dollars. These stay on really, really well, much better than the like the pinch metal ones. So I've replaced all the pin backs with the rubber and then they're inside this pocket. So if they come out, they will be in the pocket. Also, I've covered it in fandom and stitches and talk to me Tuesday and so hooked buttons. I've put buttons that I've gotten at quilt shows in the past, like a bunch of these, like this is a pineapple fabrics and I have one from a needle company and I have a storage company. These are Moda patches that Jules gave me for my birthday. I don't know, two or three years ago. They've been hanging on my desk for a long time. So these are attached. I actually put these on with unique stitch. I did not sew these on. These are glued on with fabric glue. My daughter gave me some cat lady buttons for Christmas. So I put a couple of those on there. I deconstructed some sewing machines that I made to share with friends. And this one is just the sewing machine. I had made uh, my girlfriends from um, two years ago when we went to Houston, I had made them little pins. And this was the pin that I put a load more charms on mine. And and I took the sewing machine off so you could see it better. So anyway, this is my bag. It will be on my shoulder. It makes noise. If you see me at a quilt show, say hi. I'm not particularly shy. I used to be, I think, years of teaching quilting classes and standing up and talking to the volunteers at the Lions Connection has just completely cured me of that. I can be quiet, but I'm not particularly shy and I would be delighted for you to come up and say hello to me. On a personal note, I wanna let you guys know that I felt very successful this month because I followed successfully Adrian's uh, Yoga with Adrian's 30 Days of Yoga program for January, which was called Home. It's a struggle for me because I have to adjust a lot because of my feet. It felt extremely good to finish this year. I didn't finish last year. I really struggled with it and I really struggled the year before. Um, as you guys probably know, I do have some foot problems and I do need surgery and um, I'm kind of getting to the end of the window that I can wait without having further damage. So it's a big deal to me that I was able to do this and make it all the way through. And I'm planning to keep yoga in my life because it makes me feel so much better. Right now my goal is five days a week and so far so good. I've really, really enjoyed it. I know some of you uh, who follow my social media already know this. I know some of you were, were also participating. So well done you guys and um, just keep it up. That is all from Austin today. Uh, I want to invite you guys to come by Phantom and Stitches tomorrow for the next installment of Jeannie's Kingdom Hearts Quilt Along. It is going swimming her patterns are beautiful. I cannot brag on them enough and I hope you enjoy what is coming tomorrow. You guys have a wonderful week. Have a crafty week. Let me know if you're coming to QuiltCon or going to the Dallas Quilt Show and I will see you next week. Bye.